We made a little mistake here. I want you to look at this query and tell me what is wrong. We'll take a look at the order by statement at the end. We've learned about the order by statement and that's how you sort stuff. This just messes or scrambles up the data. You see, we are always going to do the sort inside the ordered analytic. We're doing a see some on daily sales after we sort by product ID and sale date in the calculation and then we do all of the work, get everything added up and then the order by at the end scrambles the rows. This is actually the correct data. It's just not in the right order so it looks like it's really off. So here's your next rule. Don't ever put an order by at the end of an ordered analytic statement. What you've seen so far is the CSUM using Teradata syntax. I've told you that I don't necessarily want you using this syntax. I'm going to show you better syntax and that's ANSI. But ANSI is going to be a little bit more confusing. Now, you won't get this right off the bat as to why this is a good thing and a bad thing. But look at this group by statement at the end. It's a good thing, but I can do better later on, which you'll see. You see here we've got the group by statement. And what's that going to do? It's going to reset the CSUM calculation when there's a product ID break. Notice that we've sorted by product ID and sale date. I want you to see that up here. And then I want you to also notice that it began the cumulative sum, but when there was a 1,000 to 2,000 product ID break, the C sum started over. It's a good thing, but it's going to be inflexible in the future. I'll show you a better way with ANSI. But for now, if you want things to reset, Group by is your buddy. The greatest gift of all that you can give yourself and your company is the gift of the Nexus Query Chameleon, the query tool of the future. Hi, this is Tom Coffing. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please hit subscribe to make sure you are kept up to date on all our videos.